Fill up the clean sweep. Every year, it's nothing like cleaning up the hood, making it look good. The good in the hood is right here. Come on, y'all. Four neighborhoods of uh, Phillips neighborhood, which is East Phillips, Midtown Phillips, Phillips West, and Ventura Village. Basically, we have a big neighborhood cleanup day. So we pick up litter with the bags and the picker uppers, and we assign people to different blocks, and they walk around, and they pick up garbage. And I get a loud Clean Sweep 2014. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Clean Sweep 2014. We're cleaning up for the environment. The area. We find it like a trash. Yeah, trash We're and garbage. Yo en el vecindario de Phillips por más de 20 años y esta es cada año venimos todos aquí a ayudar a la comunidad y esta es la nueva generación para la tradición de East Phillips. So today is just a day that the community comes together and everyone in the neighborhood just goes out of their way and just spends an hour or two just picking up garbage and you'll be surprised how much garbage we actually picked up today. I'm doing this to give back to my community. And so our community can stay clean. I'm on the East Phillips Board of Directors, so I've been out telling people about this for a few weeks now. And I just met new neighbors uh, Wednesday evening, and I said, this is what's going on. I'll come pick you up. And so they called me this morning and said, are you coming? We're ready to go. So here we are, and they're meeting people and cleaning the neighborhood. Today, we, my brothers, we decided to come and serve and help the community clean up the streets. And then we also have hired garbage trucks from the city and they go all around through every single street and alley to all the regular pickup points and they pick up the garbage. I want to do a big shout out to Scott. He's in charge of the garbage trucks. He's the baddest garbage truck driver in the nation. And uh, the support is just great is all I know. You know, just how the amount of volunteers that they have and stuff like that. I always wondered what it would like be like to do that, to follow along a truck, pick up garbage. So yeah, it was kind of sweet. We got to watch the machine crush all the trash. Uh, picked up toilets and doors, and uh, a lot of people had stuff laying out for us to pick up. People sometimes can't afford to get rid of um, huge furniture, things like that. So we're just helping them out and getting rid of them in the trucks. Only in Phillips do they do it this well, man. It's the place where every year they throw down. We have such wonderful people. I mean, just look at all the volunteers that they have. I don't know any other neighborhood in, in Minneapolis that does, does this type of no, uh, project, actually, and I just think it's fantastic. We're on the West Phillips side of the Phillips community, and we have about 200 so volunteers here to come help and clean up the neighborhood. We had uh, quite a few volunteers from the local treatment center, Park Avenue Center. We had the men and women, and we had volunteers from Wells Fargo Home Mortgage. We had volunteers that live in Ventura Village and some volunteers that live in Phillips West. And our green team has always brought a few volunteers every single year to help with the green, uh, clean sweep. That's very enjoyable and it's a nice time to get out and be in the neighborhood and do something that serves the community. I work for Alina Health and we support in any way we can. We bring volunteers and we also support the food effort. And I work in the grounds department at Abbott Northwestern Hospital and I'm here to help with the trash. Yeah, I saw you all over. I was driving around a little bit and every, everywhere, and I just had to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we're gonna go to Stewart Park and return the bags and have lunch. Now we're just waiting for the food to be done and we're just gonna eat and just go talk to people and just get to know some people. And, and if you're hungry, you wanna eat, say yeah! Yeah! And if you like a hot dog, say yeah! And if you like a clean neighborhood, say oh yeah! Oh yeah! Man, that's man. We're here, man. We just out here, man, trying to make sure everybody good, feeling the community, make sure everybody eating. There's a struggle that has to be fought here to make sure that the community keeps control of the streets, both in terms of what they look like, but also to make sure that uh, that crime is kept under control. It's a safe place for people to live, and you do that by building community, by ha having neighbors know one another. Old school. That's how we do it. Man, dads in the house, and every other organization that will thank the kids for banging. And so you got the. Park Board, you got Abbott Hospital, East Phillips Improvement Coalition, Hennepin County Sentence to Serve, Mad Dads, Phillips West, Venture Village, Phillips West Partnership, Contempt T-Shirts, and everybody else on there that's doing great things. 
The Phillips Environmental Action Plan is basically a group at White House and we really just think of ways to help out our community because this is really our home and where we live in and this is our place. We really should take care of it. There can never be enough outlets to try and get the type of information that we're bringing here out to residents. So some of them, everybody knows about the Phillips Clean Sweep because it's been going on. It's such a great community building activity. But there's other things that, you know, we come out to help provide education on that they may not have heard in, an, in another location before. Today at the Clean Sweep, we are organizing a table and talking about recycling and compost and things that you can and cannot recycle. Right, let's give it a one time for Clean Sweep, y'all. Somebody say, oh yeah. There's a lot to be proud of in this neighborhood, and we uh, we increased that today by being together as neighbors. One of the things I love about it is just all the people that are out here. Just uh, all the different people are saying, oh, hi, haven't seen you, or I didn't know you were around. Somebody say, oh, yeah! We all need each other, and we need to understand how badly we need each other because we don't get anything accomplished alone. This is where community issues really percolate and people meet each other, build relationships and come up with solutions together as one, as a team, wouldn't you say? I say that and also, you know, it only happens once a year, but everybody that walks out here walks away with a different mind conscious that every day I can do my little part to make a difference. We're going to show you how to be respectful for your community and to build a positive community. That's what we're here for. And it's a great, great time. You spend time with people in your neighborhood and you clean up the community while you're doing it. And more uh, communities should be able to do this. Our helicopter's here and me and Jan are going to go to another city, another place, and do the same thing Amen. all over again. We're taking off. We, we got to catch this helicopter. We gotta catch it. We're see you see later. It. See you All next right. time.